problem. So let's have a look at this problem. And obviously there are some key concepts that we should know about before we start this problem. The first one being, when a solution is added to the original one, a single replacement reaction occurs. So solution is added to the original solution. A single replacement reaction occurs. So the cation will be substituted for the cation presented in the solution. If the new compound is soluble, it will dissociate. If not, it will per precipitate. Cation from this solution will be substituted for the cation present in the original solution. The most important concept if the new compound is soluble, it will dissociate. If not, if the new compound is not soluble, it will precipitate. So first, when sodium Chloride is added. The sodium cation will be substituted. Substituted. The possibilities, so these are these two possibilities of new formations, right? Which could be. What do you notice about these three possible formations? CaCl2 and FeCl2 are solubles, but silver chloride is not soluble. So if, if sodium chloride was present, then it would precipitate, right? Because if you remember from the key concepts before, so we know that Ag plus the silver ion is not present in the solution because if you remember from the problem, it says that when sodium chloride is added, it will not precipitate. So we have these two possible compounds present. Moving on, when sodium sulfate, sodium sulfate is added, the problem states that a precipitate does form a white one. So the sodium ion can be replaced and it gives possibilities to and calcium sulfate is insoluble, so it would form a precipitate. And FeSO4 is soluble, so, soluble, so it wouldn't form a precipitate. And this is insoluble. Then when we add sodium carbonate, To the remaining solution. It can form iron carbonate, which is insoluble. So it forms a precipitate. So the possible ions are B 
these are the possible ions.